Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, um, the jokers are having a laugh, or whatever I decided to call it. I don't know, filming this street after doing the performance. Um, blank card, you, this should this should have had look under the card box written on it, but I forgot to do it in the performance. And since this is the tutorial for the performance, I didn't see the point in doing it now. But while it is blank, you can put whatever you want to on it. I'll go more into that at the end for them that don't want to be bored and just want to learn how this trick's done. I'll get on with it. And I'll do all other stuff at the end. Right. Start off, two jokers on the table facing down. Your blank card with your message on, on the bottom of the packet. Peel it off as you do a shuffle to keep it on the bottom. You know what you're doing with this. And then freely have your spectator pick a card. We'll tell you another way in a bit. They freely pick a card. They look at the card. They can sign the card. It makes no difference. The card will then go back into the packet and get controlled to the top without disturbing the bottom card. I put it in on the angle. Push it down a bit, scoop it out, grip it, little finger and face finger, bend it down, slide it up to the top, all on the cover of our hand, and then just square it on the top. So their card is now on the top, with your blank still on the bottom. Then you do a milk, so you're pulling the top and bottom cards together, because you want theirs second to bottom. And you shuffle everything else off normal. Then do a riffle shuffle. Maintaining them bottom two cards. So at least two cards down from that side before you go in with the other side. Square it all up and catch a pinky break on the bottom cards. As you pick the jokers up, put them on the top. Turn it to a thumb break, but just push it over a bit so it's not sticking right at the edge of the packet. Just push it over into your hand a bit so it's hidden. Peel off the first joker, flip it over underneath, get your fingers at the back of the break to pull that card away, all square on the top, so you've just stolen the blank card. Peel the next joker off and do the same thing, put the packet down, their card is now on the bottom. Have your case with the flap on the table as they go in facing down, close it up and then put it down the other way, right, so it was that way, cards have gone in, we turned it around so the cards are now basically facing up, but under cover, pick the packet up, and shuffle the packet over the, that, again just maintaining that bottom card, and as you're squaring up, you're just going to palm that bottom card into this hand, just slide it over, Twirl the packet and call it into a tenkai. Grab the packet and put it down, watching all your angles all the time. Pick the box up, but put your hands square over it so you can drop that card onto it. And then square it up without that happening as you're turning it over. So you'll get it onto the box, square everything up, turn it over, and keep your hands square around so it doesn't flash. As you pull out the cards in the box, grip just underneath so you're keeping hold of that card as you put the box down. You got a joker on the top, you got a joker on the bottom, you got one card in the middle. Take it out and then there's your message. Look under the card box. So then you pick the box up and there's their card on the table underneath the box. Which there was nothing there when that went down there. How did that get there? It's magic. What it's supposed to look like. And there you go. That's how you do it. I say on the card you can't have other things written on it. If you want to use a duplicate card. Um, again, same, same thing. That on the bottom. Your duplicate cards have it wherever you want hidden. Whatever. And then on the blank card written down wherever you've hidden it if you see what i mean but you'd have to force your duplicate onto them the best way you know how 
if you want to do it with a signed card to any way. Now this one's a bit more tricky and it does need the assistance of people. It does. Say you're in somewhere like um, a McDonald's or something like that. And you've gone through all this rigmarole. The, the card with it something written on has gone into there. And they're into there. And they've picked the card and it's on the bottom. And then you do all of this and get that packet and put it down. You don't then reach for the, the box. You can pull away and you can... If you're in something like a McDonald's, you, you pass that card to the person sitting behind you. This is their signed card, don't forget. Then they get up as if they're going to the toilets and walk down and give it to a waitress who sticks it in a waistband that way and walks over and stands there and just says, hey, I've just, something just told me to come and tap you. And there's his signed card in their belt, if you see what I mean. Millions and millions of different things you can do. But... That's what's known by expanding your magic, I suppose, and good for when you're out doing outside stuff, not on little square screen stuff. Mm. Ah, disappointed now. Anyway, shut your face and get off. I do hope you've enjoyed it, then, that have watched. Um, I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.